to be the largest democracy in the world and we are proud to be so. Ours is a vast land and diverse land peopled by citizens of different backgrounds speaking different languages and professing different beliefs. Almost 20% of our people belong to religious minorities. In recent years, we have experienced emergence of trends and practices that dispute the well-established principle of civic nationalism and interposes a new and imaginary practice of cultural nationalism. It seeks to present an electoral majority in the guise of a religious majority and monopolize political power. It wants to distinguish citizens on the basis of their faith, give vent to intolerance, insinuate otherness, and promote disquiet and insecurity. Some of its recent manifestations are chilling and reflect poorly on our claim to be governed by rule. If, if ISIS invites me to their platform to speak, I would go happily go there and speak, but I would not, uh, uh, you know, uh, be laudatory of ISIS. I would criticize ISIS. So that has been my opinion, that uh, what is important is what you convey rather than where you convey it. And to be honest with you, uh, by peddling fake narratives and selective anti-India propaganda, uh, I'm sorry, but the ex-Vice President Ansari demeans his image more than he demeans India. Perhaps, as was alluded to uh, briefly, he is still smarting from the time when Modi laid bare his Islamic fundamentalist antecedents in that farewell speech that he was forced to hear and watch with rapidly reddening ears and eyes. And so he thinks by indulging in such propaganda, he can get back at Modi. Well, people can see through his selectivity and victim card. Remember, he was the one who backed draconian Sharia courts, publicly felicitated an organization that decapitated the hand of a Christian on account of blasphemy. And he is talking of intolerance. He sees only Muslim victims, but has been silent on more than 180 Muslim mob hate attacks on Hindus, Dalits and non-Dalits over the past three years, including Bharat Yadav, who was lynched after being called a kafir, including in Ranchi, where a Muslim mob segregated, yes, mm -hmm. father segregated, bus passengers based on their religion before wanting to set it on fire. Right from fake church attack narrative and running selective hate trackers to multiple stories of fake Jashi Ram slogan triggering, Ansari and his gang have perfected selective outrage. They never outrage on the BSP selecting as a candidate, a man who offered 51 crores to anyone who beheaded Charlie Hebdo journalist, or when Mahmooba Mukti condoles the death mm. of Ani the terrorist, mm. or when Congress says, Harish Rawat says, those who kill a cow have no right to live in India or when an SP legislator slaps a woman entering Haji Ali, or when Congress legislators demand hanging of Kamlesh Tiwari, or when Yasin Malik is celebrated by Manmohan Singh, no, no, or when no, Congress no, leader no. Kannan laments why Modi and Shah have not been killed yet, or when Muslim leaders make incendiary Hindu phobic speeches, or when tens of thousands collect for funerals of terrorists, then it is not intolerance. Ansari has, I'm afraid, Madhav, just 10 seconds, 30 seconds if you please, has allowed himself to become a dog whistler and a part of this magical mystery tour made up of a motley crew of religious fanatics and Modi haters, including an extremist hack who cautions Muslims to strategize and stay secular until they obtain majority, a deranged writer who thinks Rafal is an aircraft carrier, a right. washed up actor who blames Modi for the crimes of Mamata, a bigot stand-up who jokes on Godra train burning but soils his pajamas when it comes to making fun of his own religion, a kitty party journalist who says she doesn't advocate Indian ruling Kashmir, a screechy RJ who okay. demands equal rights for women as long as women are not Muslim. Together, these okay. fundamentalists proceed from one conference to next one platform to another, spreading their hate and propaganda. You can't stop them, Madhav. You can only expose them. I want to bring in the Congress.